Saturday we did stop having kids. Yeah, um, we did. We did an outreach demo. Yeah, so we did. So it's not like a protest or anything like that. <laughs> it's it's outreach. It's we did some outreach. Yeah. With with uh, leading with love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it is like it, it is. is. It's, like it's a loving message. Rooted in love, you know. So yeah, it's antinatalism outreach and just talking about the implications of having children and not just like having children or like children themselves. It's like the fact that you're bringing another person onto this earth and like Mm -hmm. ethic. We don't really consider that at all, you know, Mm -hmm. and like the consequences of it Mm -hmm. and, and how that impacts that person, mm-hmm. every other person on this planet, every other non-human person on this planet, and then just the planet itself. So, yeah. So yeah, it was, yeah. I had a I had a really good time. It was so busy. So we went to oh my gosh, uh, Young and Dundas. So Dundas Square, yeah, um, across from the Eaton Center. Yeah, and from the moment we busted that banner out Mm -hmm. and, like, had those signs, like, people were talking to us. Yeah, we couldn't – we didn't get a break from the moment we had – we unfurled (laughs) the banner till the moment – we literally had to rip ourselves away from conversations because we had to go. We were on a timeline. Um, We were there for, what, two – three hours, something like that? Yeah, it it ended up being, like, three hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. It was crazy. I've done this kind of outreach before. Um, Done it a few times in Calgary. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was your experience. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah. So uh, I originally just wanted to come and participate as uh, a sign holder upper (laughs) Mm -hmm. and listen to the conversations and just because I, uh, this is, I have kids, you know, I have two kids. And uh, I remember, I don't know, years ago, I remember hearing about antinatalism for the first time and like being so confused, like what people fucking that like hate babies and kids, like, mm-hmm. what, who are these people? Why do they, why do, why do they, why do they have so much hate? And I just, thought of them as that like they just didn't like kids didn't want to have kids and didn't really think much more of it because you know I I had kids and I love my kids and I was just like many people when they first hear that or see the signs or anything like get defensive and just are like Mm -hmm. closed off to hearing any kind of uh, message so Mm -hmm. um, yeah I guess it was pretty much uh, a year or two after meeting you and and hearing a little bit more about it and then stop having kids um became an organization fairly recently right like yeah march of this year i believe yeah so um you know i kind of creeped around the website and listened to all the things that you said and shit started making sense and i was like fuck <laughs> yeah Shit. Shit. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Cool. So it's very interesting, um, you know, from my standpoint. Uh, and again, I wanted to come and support you and and you want because I know you really wanted to do this outreach in Toronto. And I had no intention of being a part of any conversations. Uh, but as Alex said, as soon as we unrolled the banner, people it was just it was just her and I at first we had a couple people join us later on but in the very beginning it was just her and I and like people were just bam bam coming in our faces (laughs) coming in our faces (laughs) that's a way to stop having kids I guess oh Oh, man so yeah we just like I had no choice I had to talk to people Mm -hmm. and and it just came out so naturally you know like it was uh I the sign what was the sign that I was holding was it said it says um name one unselfish reason to have kids Mm -hmm. and I was thinking about it and I'm like I can't think of any (laughs) you know so people would come up and they'd be like what is this all about and I just said like well look at the sign 
can you think of any? I'm like, I'm, I'm a parent. I have two kids myself. And that's just what I always thought that it, humans were supposed to do is just procreate. And that's, you know, our, our mission in life and yeah. there's no second thought. And, uh, but now, you know, looking at all this information on the website and realizing that there's just so many different factors to bringing new life into the world, even things that myself as a parent now know that I wouldn't have known before becoming a parent, that it's, you know, just terrifying and depressing and, and a lot of cause of anxiety and shitty emotions and feelings that nobody ever talks about before having kids. And that's just like a small little thing, part of it. There's so much more. It's so much bigger than that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it was, it was a really mid mainly positive experience. You know, there were people that, uh, that were loving the message would like, just walk by, read the sign, stop having kids and like, just, you know, give us a little cheer or whatever. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people that, again, like I was saying, become really defensive just by seeing those those words stop having kids and like there's a you know a little baby on, on the logo with like a <laughs> cross through it right <laughs> so this one woman was like that's really offensive and I she's like don't you find it offensive I'm like no I don't it, it got your attention like you're standing here talking you stopped and talk you're talking to yeah. me now she's like do you have kids like thinking I'm gonna say no and I'm like actually <laughs> well, so it worked really in my in my favor because a lot of people you know were like okay well if she's obviously really um, thought a lot about it to, mm -hmm. to be here and, and participating in this kind of outreach. Uh, so I think, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people maybe listened a little bit more because of that. And uh, yeah, some really good conversations, really. Yeah. A lot, a lot more support than I anticipated too. And uh, yeah, I'm happy I got to be in the, in the conversations and did a bit more than what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was, um, I thought it was like an overall really good experience. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like I felt really good afterwards, almost kind yeah, of like me too. You're like, oh, that was amazing. It was like a vibe, like a high vibrating vibration, yeah. you know, like my body did. It felt like, yeah. and it's, it, again, you know, to all the people who are listening that are like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause I know there are people that do think that like, I mean, my, my sister's pregnant. I have friends who are trying to get pregnant and you know, like it's, it's such a weird fucked up place for me to be in. But if I can, you know, help somebody realize that, you know, you can actually think about this <laughs> before doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, or, you know, just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not that, uh, sorry, I, what I was trying to say was it's not that you're like, you guys don't, or, or we, or people who don't want to continue bringing new, new life into the world. They don't hate the current life. They don't hate babies. They yeah, don't want kids to die. It's not, that's yeah. not, that's the stigma. That's what I thought <laughs> the whole thing was all about before. And that, and that's not, it's not, it's not it at all is what I'm trying to say, you know? For sure. And, and like the focus is helping existing life, whether it's human life or non-human life yes. or, you know, helping yes, yes. the environment around us. And I mean, there's hateful people, I think, in every kind of group, really. I mean, mm -hmm. there's really shitty yeah. vegans or shitty antinatalists that, you know, mm -hmm. feel that way they where sure they are. just think like, everyone <laughs> should die. But, um, yeah. you know, like it, it's not a message that condones like just a mass genocide of people. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I think a lot of people kind of get the wrong idea when they see that message. They're like, what? So you just want, you just don't want the human race to continue. You just want like everyone to die. Like, how are we going to continue on? And it's like, but well, who will pay yeah. taxes, Jenny? Who will pay taxes? <laughs> right. Oh my God. But yeah, I kept giving this almost the same answer to everyone. I'd be like, yeah, but if we can't take care of what we have currently, like, yeah. why are we bringing more? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. shit to fuck more shit up <laughs> even worse. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And I think about it as like, I think about the person too that you're bringing onto this earth, you know, and like, mm-hmm. I mean, we've had this conversation about like non-existence and everything like that. And I'm, I'm on the side of, you know, I would rather have not existed because you know when I was in a state of non-existence like I had no like I didn't know what I was quote-unquote missing out on or not missing out (laughs) on I had no idea so for me you know sparing someone from having to deal with the suffering that is life you know like Mm -hmm. yeah we might have some like good moments sprinkled throughout our Mm -hmm. existence but like overall life is pretty fucking hard and pretty shitty and I feel like we don't even have it that bad you know what I mean no exactly and like how we live and what what kind of existence we have so like when you when you know that you're you're taking a chance with somebody else's life for me I would rather just like not do that so yeah yeah exactly there's no guarantees Mm -hmm. you know So. Right. And that's that's another thing too that I say. Like both my kids, the bare minimum is is to raise them vegan, right? Because it's a huge we one person has such a huge carbon footprint throughout their whole life, such a huge impact. And by being plant based or vegan, you substantially reduce that at least. At the that like that's the bare minimum that we can do, right? For the planet. And that's not guaranteed that they're going to stay that way when they're older. Um, you know, it's a, uh, I'd say it's a 50, yeah. 50 chance and uh, I- I'm doing the best that I can to hopefully make sure that they stay that way. But the, again, there's no guarantees. And then and that just sucks for everybody. I feel like I failed. <laughs> you know, I feel like shit, like they're contributing to more suffering. Um, you know, who's to say that they couldn't become fucking serial killers or, you know, yeah. like <laughs> well, what if, uh, well, what if, like, <laughs> they're going to be, you know, the next, like, Elon senior. Musk? Yeah, you know, and that's <laughs> another argument, too. And it's like, uh, but again, you know, it all goes back to what you're saying is you just can't guarantee. Shit. Yeah. So, yeah, they very why, well could be the next Mother Teresa or Gandhi or whatever. But, like, why risk it? You know, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah. again, like exactly what you were just saying. We don't even have it that bad. And the amount of suffering that we all have to endure as like in a first world, we're white girls, yeah. like, you know, we're almost like got the 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 top privilege there. And we still mm-hmm. go through a lot of suffering. And uh, yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, I've had a lot of terrible shit happen to me that I wish never happened to me. And, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Shit that definitely Whoa. scarred, traumatized, shaped who you know who you are yeah. today. Yeah. Like it's um some sad shit, man. Yeah. So yeah, but um, I'm glad that um, <laughs> you enjoyed it. That yeah. Good. <laughs> yes, as as you were saying, we were definitely feeling real good after it. Really, uh. I think a lot of people had like we gave out a lot of cards and stuff and and anybody um that I talk to even now like there's even like even a coworker him and I were chatting about <laughs> somehow we got into the topic of of not bringing more kids into the world and and I was like oh dude you should check out this website it's really good so okay. stophavingkids.org yes check it out. It's got a lot of good shit and uh and it just makes sense. Mhm. Just makes sense. Yeah, it really really does. So, would you do it there's, again? And, it's, and there's no hate. There's no hate. Like it's yeah. just it's a loving message, believe it or not. It is it comes from compassion and and yes, I would do it again. Cool. 100%. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> would recommend. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, cool. for sure. Yeah. 